This is history in the making, and we're so blessed that the, the organization chose the Philippines as the venue. The first Global Peace Convention was held in Manila, the capital city of the Philippines, from December 10th through 14th, 2009. Over 500 leaders from 30 nations participated. This meeting is to exchange ideas, to find out what can be done. The convention came on the foundation of the Global Peace Festivals, which to date had been held in more than 20 nations, with hundreds of thousands of participants since 2007. The Global Peace Convention was based on the Global Peace Festival's vision of people working together for peace, regardless of religion, race or nationality, thereby coming together as one family under God. When you come to a convention like this and you see all the diverse people together with tranquility, this is how the world should be. It's breaking through the invisible barrier of racial differences and different ethnicities. It's not enough to say we want peace. Rather, I will say today to set the tone that we are peace. I believe that if we are to bring peace to the world, then we must start with one person, one family, and with one God. The GPC was organized around the three program tracks of the Global Peace Festival, interfaith partnerships, strengthening the family, and service. GPF advocates a new view of interfaith, calling on religious leaders to move beyond mere tolerance by affirming the universal principles common to all faiths. Peace building requires respect, understanding, and acceptance. Religious identity conflict come from threats to religious identity. And what we are trying to do in madrasas is to include disciplines emphasizing human rights, religious tolerance in madrasas, and uh, pluralism. As long as we maintain the principle and the understanding that we are spiritual beings, we can experience the realization that we are all a family of God. A variety of faiths, a variety of ethnicity is very healthy for me and very enlightening and it, it broadens my perspective and my horizon and my worldview. The profound truth is that all humanity is connected together in a most fundamental way, beyond the differences of race, religion, and nationality, because we all share our common origin or source, the Creator God. All people are part of one human family. After September 11, 2001, I told myself, Lord, if there are people who can sacrifice their life to kill other people, Lord, give me strength that I will sacrifice my life for peace and for unity among the nations and among the faith. The second focus of GPF vision and action is centered on the family as the most essential human institution, the school of love and peace. Family is the smallest, but the most concrete and unconditional, the most enduring, the most lasting unit composed of love. Families are so important because after our relationship with God, those are the next most important relationships, our relationships with our partners and marriage and with our children, with our immediate families and extended families, and it just sort of expands out from there. I really truly believe that peace is an inside job. It starts with yourself. If you're not peaceful, if I'm not peaceful as a mother, then I can't, I can't spread peace to my kids or my husband, and then from there you work outwards. GPF promotes service to others as the vital expression of care and compassion within the human family, transforming hearts in the process. The importance of engaging youth in service is that it, it gives them uh, a sense of empowerment. We must take up the challenge as leaders to blaze the path for corporate giving and pave the way for a new era of focus on a culture of service. We're all here for the same reason because we want to help others and we want to empower others to help even a larger community. A key purpose of the Global Peace Convention is to create partnerships to enable more effective peace building efforts. We must live united that for us to accomplish the goals that we're about it really is calling upon us to partner in new ways, partner with people who are different from us, from organizations that are different from us and to find new ways of working collaboratively together. We need the partnership. 
partnership of everybody, all the stakeholders, you name it, either CBOs, NGOs, youth, gender, faith-based organizations. The convention saw the launch of the Global Peace Service Alliance. GPSA is a cross-sector initiative under the umbrella of the Global Peace Festival Foundation, promoting peace and poverty reduction through building a global culture of service. GPSA is a partnership-based alliance that is bringing people together with great programs and projects and funding that will allow us to initiate peace around the world. And now, as a partner of the Global Peace Service Alliance, we know that there is so much more that we can accomplish. Today we are pleased to announce the formulation of an international partnership with the Global Peace Service Alliance of the Global Peace Festival Foundation. Wild Youth Alliance is actually very much interested in partnering with GPFF because you have a global outreach, we also have a global outreach. So we can lobby our youth, the 1.5 million young members, to join and do something wherever they are. You are empowered. You are shaping the destiny of this social entrepreneurial alliance. On the final day of the convention, delegates traveled south to the island of Mindanao, an area of ongoing conflict, to personally witness the efforts for peace being made there. I'm happy that the participants are going to Mindanao to see for themselves our efforts and maybe make suggestions to us on how we can improve and do better in our efforts. Their visit included exploring several peace villages where children from different religious and tribal backgrounds live and study together, becoming friends, laying the foundation to avert future conflicts in the area. It is one of the best means to achieve peace and development in a diverse region like Mindanao. And hopefully other countries in the world who are similarly challenged in achieving peace and prosperity and progress and development can learn lessons from Mindanao. Convention delegates joined 5,000 others in a lively global peace festival held in Lanao del Norte, where over 2,000 children from the local school system danced for peace and unity. When we work together as brothers and sisters, you will not fight each other. In fact, you will support and you will help each other and go through with whatever you are doing to achieve success at the highest level. I charge you to be the real owners of that vision in bringing forth the Global Peace Festivals in 2010 and start a new revolution of heart rooted in the dream of one family under God. Peace is everyone's responsibility, so just do it.